Hi guys, my name is Bife here from RFN and we have another Forge tutorial for you. Just to very quickly comment on something before I actually get into this, we are working on some more content to upload for you guys at HFN that aren't repeats of stuff that's been on other people's channels. Don't worry, it's just taking time for us. Flood is in the middle of exams, I am still recovering and I'm rather ill. And Kickbutt is also doing exams, I believe. But yeah, you'll see content from me in about a week. Anyway, the design for today is mushroom towers. Now, mushroom towers are very simple because what you do is you take these ramp circular um, smalls. What you'll do is you'll place two against each other at 180 degree angles. Generally, it's good to make them one and a half, maybe two high at the most. Then what you want to do is if you want to make this just a backing piece, you just leave it as it is for the time being. If you want people to actually walk on it, you put these four corner two by twos on here. Now, I'm going to show you the rest of the design in a second, but these are really useful to attach onto buildings. I'll show you that later as well. And what you then do, the best piece to use with these are generally the one by one tall and thins. Put four of those on at corners. And after you've done that, you just use the same piece you've used earlier, the ramp circular smalls. And when you've got those, you'll place one on top here, and then you'll place another across. Now, what you may need to make sure is you need to make sure they line up so they're exactly equal. But anyway, what you will do is you will place those there, and then you'll place another one at a completely perpendicular angle to it. So literally just across at 45 degrees. What you want to make sure is that they're the same height. So what you should end up is with an eight line pattern in the middle. And then of course you place another at 45 degrees to that. And the third, and third one, fourth one that you place will be, I guess you can see where it's going to go right now. It's going to be across all of those to fill that gap. And that creates your mushroom town. Make sure that all of the things line up in the center. So yeah. It's very important they make sure of that because it makes it continuous and it means that everything is equal. Now, great design. There are lots of ways you can use this. I'm going to show you one right now. Notice here I've got this base, this UNSC style base. And right here I have an example of how I've used a mushroom tower. Now, the really neat thing about this is that it fits really nicely on the end of buildings. One, you know, no matter what kind of roof you have, generally it works best if you keep on sticking with that circular theme. But you can put turrets up here if you want a really fortified position for a base. You can put weapon spawns up here. You've got the nice pillars. These four, you know, they forge really nicely into various pieces such as brace larges. So keep that in mind when you're forging. Literally, this design is very versatile, and you should make use of it. And another thing that you can do is you can actually build quite a few aesthetics around this. If it's a very central location, what you can do is you can take something that you really like. So let's say your favorite piece of aesthetics is a crate. You can back that up against one of the walls and you can maybe do something like that. I don't know. The possibilities are endless with these. You just got to keep in mind that they're very versatile and you should use them however you see fit. You can attach them to the sides of buildings. You can put weapons in them. You can put power up in them. I get a snipe spawn, whatever. Anyway, my name is Bife signing out here. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. And remember, subscribe to HFN.